guys, this is Good Boy, and I am back with some more Would You Rather, and it's been a while since I've played this, but before I get this video started, shout out to Foxy's Adventures who have had subscribed to me, blah, hopefully I will actually be able to talk today. Now, Would You Rather, if you guys have never played this, it's getting, it's very, very popular, but hopefully uh, you've played it before, I'll put a link down in the description for this uh, either Would You Rather, it's, it's pretty dang fun, and uh, like I said before, um, I, I haven't played this in a while, so but I still have played it, and if you want me to uh, see me play some more of this, then just hit that like button down below. Now, Would You Rather is a game of pretty much either or, which is why this is either, and you can either choose to have to choose this question right here, or choose this uh, other question over here. It's pretty much what would you rather have more than the other one, and then after you click on which either one you'd want, blue or red, then it'll tell you uh, which one people usually choose more. So I'll just give you an example right here. So always wear clothes you like but everyone else hates, or always wear clothes you hate but everyone else loves. So I could pretty much I could pretty much just choose either one of these. But I I want this one, and as you can see here, it tells you how much more. Uh, people, the percentage of people would choose uh, over the other one. So now that you guys know a little bit about this game. Let's move on. Uh, to, let's move on to the next one. All right. So, be a world class footballer or be a world class cricketer. Um. Well, I don't know that much about cricket on its own and football. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a. Uh, a sports person. You obviously know that probably because I'm I'm, a, I'm pretty much a gamer. That's all I do every day. Play video games. I'm not much for a sports guy, but I I believe I think that in America people like football more than they like cricket. And I live in the U.S., so I'm gonna have to go with football. Yeah, that that's that's gotta be expected. All right, on to the next one. Let's see. Um, watch only dramas for the rest of your life. Watch only comedies for the rest of your life. I, this one actually really isn't tough for me. I love comedy. I, I don't know why. I just, I, I love to laugh. It's like my favorite thing in drama. I, I'm not a big fan about it. You know, there's just so much it, tension in, to it. And I, and it's, it, it, it seems so fake to me sometimes, but comedy, it's just awesome. I, like, I, I don't know. There's, I, I like comedy so much more. There you go. Everyone chooses comedy because comedy is way better than drama. Hopefully I didn't make anyone like get really angry at me. All right, next one is have a first edition holographic Char Charizard that oh, Pokemon or get twenty <laughs> get twenty bucks. Um, okay, so for have a first edition holographic Charizard or twenty dollars. So for the Charizard, uh, to you Pokemon fan, I don't like Pokemon. Sorry, I ripped the bandage off. I'm not. I don't like it. I I had my own deck of cards one time when I was young. I'm just. I don't like it. I don't know what to say. I just don't like it, and I, I really want 20 bucks. And this is just holographic, so it's not like an actual Charizard. It's wait, hold on, wait, there, the wait, hold on. Um, have a first edition holographic Charizard. Okay, so right now, if I were to get a first edition holographic Charizard, I could sell that to someone. Cause remember, this is first edition, so that means that a collector would like want a collector's item of this. So if they make more additions, I can get more money than twenty bucks. Feel like hundreds of dollars. So I, I'll get that. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully people choose it more for the money than for getting just the Charizard. Uh, uh, is it? I don't know. Would you rather burn to death or drown? I. Hmm. When you drown, do you actually like feel pain? I I know I'm asking. I don't know why I'm asking you guys. You've never drowned before, and I don't think anyone has ever lived to tell a tale, but. But physically, when you drown, you don't really feel pain that, like, really. The water gets in into your lungs, but you don't actually, uh, like, feel pain. But burning to death, you feel a whole lot of dang pain. I'm gonna drown. I don't want to burn to death. Okay. I'm not, I don't want to burn to death. Okay. Be deaf, be deaf and have no legs, or be blind and have no arms. Okay. So, for the blind part, for being blind and having no arms, um... Arms and your hearing and your touching is the two things that can really help you for when you're blind. It's just, it's one, it's, if you have no arms, you can only rely on your hearing. But if you're deaf, then it doesn't matter if you don't have any legs. You can still move around in your wheelchair, but it doesn't matter if you don't have legs. So I, 
I think I'd rather be deaf and have no legs than be blind because it you feel you, it seems like you're at more of a disadvantage when you're blind. You don't have any arms to be able to touch things and under, and and understand those things, but you you can still hear, so people can still tell you. I'm gonna have to go and be deaf. I'd rather see. I I kind of want to see everything. In. Okay. Um. Have stretchable legs or have stretchable arms. Okay. Now here's one of now this is a now this can go either way because if you have stretchable legs you can stretch over buildings and you could probably run faster because you could stretch long distances and be able to move but having stretchable arms you can reach things and you can almost move like spider-man by being able to stretch and, and kind of not even really need to use your legs so if you are a fan of wanting to like walk around really awesome with your legs but that's there's another there's another thing that comes to being legs you're ca you're still on the ground but you can like walk I don't know, you're, but when you have stretchable arms, it's almost like you can fly, you're really high up in the air, and, and if you're a Spider-Man fan, then that would be, like, your dream. I think I want to go for arms. Okay, good. I, I am, like, sticking with everyone. Weird. If you, oh, if you were to be crippled, would you rather break an arm with a slightly painful infection or break a leg? That all depends. Like, what do you mean by crippled? Are, are your arms already crippled, so breaking an arm wouldn't do anything? But, but if... Like, what kind of crippled do you... It, I guess it all depends on... What do you mean by crippled? Um... Hmm. I think that if you break a leg and it, it can come back, but if you break an arm with the, with an infection, it's it's hard. It, I don't know. I... I'd, I would want to have my arms. I, I think I'd rather break a leg because there's also an infection. There's also infection that comes with that. I don't think I would want that. Okay. Um, eat a Big Mac every six hours, or eat at an equist. What does that say? An ex ex exquisite meal once. Oh God, I couldn't say that. Okay. Eat a Big Mac every every six hours, or eat an exquisite meal. Once every four days. I am not fancy. So I don't say exquisite every day. I I don't I haven't said that word probably in like four years. But I don't want to eat a big I, I'm not gonna eat a Big Mac. I, that's just disgusting. I'm not I'm not eating a big I'm not gonna eat a Big Mac. Gee, I'm not I don't wanna be fat, okay? No. Alright, would you rather have your fingers become hot dogs or ever oh my god, or have your tear tears be re re rel relatively acidic? Okay. If you have your fingernails become hot dogs, then you I mean your finger if you have your fingers become hot dogs, dogs will want to eat you. But if you have your tears be re acidic, um, would that destroy your eyes or like are you immune to the acid? If they're relatively acidic and you cry, would the acid, like, burn your face? It, it would just come down and then burn your entire face. Or would you be able to, like, whenever you cry, you could like, cry into a bottle. And the acidic tears, you could throw at someone and burn their face. Could you use that as a superpower? Or... I mean, like, if your fingers are hot dogs, I mean... I think I want to be acidic tears. Jeez, I am like sticking with everyone. God, alright. Live in Africa for a year or live in Antarctica for a year? Um, another one of these things. So Africa is a very poor country. I have seen um, pictures from Africa and there's a lot of trash. Uh, also, same with Haiti. It's, there's a lot of trash and disgustingness uh, there with the government. The government sucked. But living in Antarctica is very cold, and you can risk frostbite. But in Africa, you can risk dying from, like, gang members or have your stuff be stolen. And the water's really bad. I, I, I think if I, I think I'd rather live in Antarctica because it doesn't say that I can't bring anything. Like, if I, I could probably bring heat and other stuff like that. But in, in Africa, everything that you bring with you can easily be stolen. But if you live in Antarctica for a year, you you could you could probably survive if you have heat and other things like that. Really? Africa's not that good. I understand that Africa has is, like, hot and stuff. But are you, uh, are you living with people, though? 
It doesn't say where you're living in Africa or in Antarctica. In Antarctica, in Antarctica, there's not that many people, but in Africa, I don't know. It just seems that Africa's risky for me. Would you rather have hair covering your entire body? Oh crap, that's me now. Or uh, or be completely bald. Um. So be Bigfoot, or. Oh, this is a tough one. I don't want to be Bigfoot, but wait, hold on. Doesn't the person with the ha with the hair get all the get the girl at the end of the movie? Well, Beauty and the Beast, and then, and then it's just a bald guy. Like, hmm. If you were bald, though, like I know it would be bad to say, but it, if you could say that you like used to have cancer. You could hide your shame. Like if you had a really bad disease and you had a shit and it had to get and your hair fell out, you could hide your shame that way. But having hair cover your entire body, you would be I I believe you can cut it all off, but you'd have to go through like waxing and all this horrible stuff to get rid of it. And if I were to become completely bald, I could easily just have it grow back. I think I'd rather be bald. Yeah, I'd rather be bald. Okay. You'd rather be wanted or be needed? Ooh. Like an outlaw or a hero? Oh, this is a tough one. I think I'd... I, if you're a hero, you feel like get the glory and stuff. If you're wanted, you live a pretty bad, awesome life. You live an, ama you live an, aw you live an amazing life. But I, I think that people would rather be wanted, though. I think that a lot of people would want to turn to that side. The dark side. But I, I, I'm i choosing the light. The light side. I'm Luke Skywalker. Get wrecked, Darth Vader. Yeah. yeah. All right. Visit Hogwarts or Narnia? I am the definition of a wizard in real life. I do not role play. But I am a wizard. So I am going to Hogwarts. But there, it, it, there there's a lot of magic in Narnia. But if I were to go to Narnia, I'd be like, hey, I'm in Narnia. Yay. Now what? But if I was in Hogwarts, I'd be like, yay, Hogwarts. I'm going to go into the wizard school and try to steal stuff. I, I choose Hogwarts. I could probably get into the school of magic because I am a wizard boy that knows, like, all the wizard stuff. All right. Would I rather be a gangster, be a Freemason? Isn't there, like, anything that isn't have to do with like bad stuff um gangsters you probably can get shot like really fast like you can probably get shot a lot but you, i think gangster where do you ah uh, that's a tough one uh i think i want to be a a gangster? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I don't think I want to risk getting shot a lot. I don't know. I, I I'll see Shree Mason. All right, all right. Next question. All right. Be chased by 100 rabid squirrels through a flat open plain, or go down a 200 feet slide completely made out of ice head first with your shirt off. Wow. Okay, so. This one's actually pretty funny. Slip, <laughs> it's called slipping squirrel. Would you rather? Would you rather? I right, um. So being chased by a hundred rabbit squirrels through a through a flat, you have a chance for death. And plus, because you're in an open plain, you can't hide from the one hundred rabbit squirrels. If you go down a two hundred foot slide, completely made out of ice, head first with your shirt off, you can go so fast that the slide will probably break because it's also made out of ice. And plus your head, uh, and plus your shirt is off, and you're moving so fast that you could like really hurt yourself on that ice. And the, it is made out of ice, and it's 200 feet, so you'll go so fast. What happens when you get off the slide? There's no way of stopping yourself. You're just gonna hit the ground and like get really bad road burns. So no matter what, there, you're gonna get really badly, badly injured, and maybe even possibly death from severe burn injury. But you can run from a hundred rabid squirrels. I'm gonna choose squirrels. 
Really? It's 200 feet, though. Like, 200 feet in the air. That's, like, really big. Ah. If you could only use one type of bill for the rest of your life, would you rather pay in nothing but singles or pay in nothing but hundreds? Okay. So, I don't have hundreds of dollars I can easily just pay out. And if I were to give, if I were to buy something like a pack of gum that's a dollar ninety nine, they would give me back change, and I wouldn't be able to use that because it's not because it's in hundreds. But if I were to only pay in singles, then I could take a hundred dollar bill and exchange that for a hundred one dollar, so I could use that better. So having paying in singles is much better than only paying in hundreds. Come on, really? Wow. You're not thinking logically, though. If you pay in hundreds, that that's just completely stupid. You can't exchange that for change. That You just want to look cool, <laughs> honestly. That's what you, you want to look cool. <sighs> All right, would you rather be wanted for murder and be on the run or, or be a homeless man who only has boxers? Um... I am I I am honestly a nice guy. I don't really <sighs> Hmm. I I I don't I don't think I should I don't think I want to kill someone. Honestly. I I I don't want to wow. So, I I don't I don't I just don't think I could kill someone though. I I couldn't I don't know. I I'd, I'd rather I'd rather have bad things happen to me than have something bad happen to someone else, to be honest. Alright, fighting the Civil War or fighting the Revolutionary War? Mmm, this one's a good one. And that's why I'm leaving it up to you guys. And I will be right back with the end of my video. So, right before I end this video, please tell me, which one would you rather fight in? The fight in the Civil War or fighting the Revolutionary War? Also, in the comments, tell me down below if you have if anyone you know who has, uh, has stories about people they know about the Revolutionary War, or if you have any stories about the Civil War, I would really like to know. And hopefully you guys had enjoyed, and I will see you for the shout-out. You thought I was ending the video, did you? You were wrong. Hopefully you had enjoyed another episode of Woods Rally. So I haven't pl been playing it so often, but um, really... I just like to do a lot of Minecraft, honestly. So tell me again, uh, would you rather fight in the Civil War or fight in the Revolutionary War? Shout out again to Foxy's Adventures who have subscribed to me. And let's try to get to 690 subscribers. We're so close to 700, guys. I can feel it. I can taste it. Oh, God. It, it tastes like, like uh, ham. Sorry. But anyways, guys, hopefully you had enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Good.